Howdy everyone. Well, as you can see, I'm back to working on the canopy. And I know it's been a very, very long process, but um, that's just how this part of the build goes. So what I'm getting ready to do now is I've decided to put a, I believe they call it a Targa strip. Don't know why, but I believe that's what it's called. So I'm gonna put a strip across here it's going to be attached to the canopy at these locations and then it's going to span basically across the aft edge of the canopy and the um, front edge of the rear window. It's going to span basically this area here from the canopy frame to the back of the roll bar. So it's basically going to cover up these metal areas here that you can see underneath the plexiglass. It's not required. I'm choosing to do it because one, I feel it will look better. I like the fact that it does cover up this seam between the rear window and the canopy. And um, I, that's really it. I just think it looks better. And I like the fact that it covers up this seam. So I'm, I've elected to do that. So obviously I've got the canopy back in place. I've got it clecoed here and I've got it fully clecoed along the bottom. Since I have it fully clecoed along the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and take these clecos out because I need access obviously to these holes. I got to figure out how to match drill these holes to the strip. So I got to get the clecos out of the way. Now when I take these clecos out, the frame underneath is going to move around, but that's okay. I just need access to the actual canopy holes because, um, like I said, I, I got to lay out what I need to to put the actual strip in place. So just getting started on that. Let me work through it. Let me get through it a little ways, and then I'll come back and uh, show you what I've come up with. But just a real quick overview. Like I said, this is Clecoed back in place. I've already talked about having the uh, the inside of the uh, glare shield painted and you can see the paint stops right where the canopy lays. So this outside area will be painted the same type of paint and the same color to match the rest of the fuselage. So, all right, I'm going to put this camera on charge. I'm going to work on that strip and I will be back and talk to you guys here shortly. Howdy everyone. Well, the day has finally come. I believe today is the day that I am going to permanently attach the plastic canopy to the frame. So as of right now, here are my plans. First of all, I've mentioned it before that I'm going to use fuel tank sealant to help attach and to help seal the canopy to the frame. So the first thing that I want to make sure is all of the plastic, the protective plastic that's on the canopy around the edges, wherever there may be fuel tank sealant or wherever there's going to be any kind of attaching hardware. I want to make sure that the, the protective plastic on the inside and on the outside of the canopy, I want to make sure that that is pulled back out of the way so it won't interfere with actually mounting this to the frame. I also want to take the side skins. Here's one of them on the bench here. My custom made side skins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and um, rough these up. I don't know if I'll use sandpaper or Scotch-Brite, but I'm gonna go ahead and pre-rough these for paint. I'm not gonna paint them anytime soon, but I want to do the the sanding, the, the roughing up of them now before they're actually riveted to the frame because I don't want to take a chance on scuffing the canopy. So I'm going to go ahead and scuff them and rough them up off of the canopy before I install them. I could do it after they're installed, but then that requires a lot of taping and masking and protecting of the canopy itself. I'd rather just go ahead and, and pre-scuff them now before they're mounted. So once I have the canopy protective coating ready to go and I've got, I mean, the protective plastic out of the way and I've got the side skins pre-scuffed, you can see I've already got 
part of the glare shield painted that I needed to paint. So I think at this point, at that point, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put a bead of art or of uh, fuel tank sealant around the, the entire back perimeter of this frame here, all the way around. I haven't decided yet, but I may or may not put a bead down the side. I don't know that I'll do that. But I am going to put a bead around the front because the canopy actually is going to sit and squish that down a little bit. So I'll put a little bit around this entire front edge. Then I'll put the canopy in place. And I will probably Clico the back. I will bring, once the canopy is in place and I have the back Clicoed, then I think I'll put a bead of fuel tank sealant on the plexiglass in this area here. So once the plexiglass is in place, then I'll put a bead of sealant on the plexiglass itself. Or maybe I'll go ahead and put it on the back of the side skin. Maybe I'll put the fuel tank sealant here. Then I'll bring the side skins over smush those into place with the fuel tank sealant and then I will probably Clico those in place. So at that point the canopy will be on, this front edge will be uh, initially fuel tank sealant between the front edge of the canopy and the frame. The side skins will be on and there will be sealant between the side skins and the canopy and then this back part will have fuel tank sealant between it and the canopy. Everything Clicoed. At that point, I'll start removing Clicos to rivet. Once I've got the riveting done, then I'll go ahead and screw everything together. Same across the back. Once the riveting's done, I'll pull out the Clicos and put the screws in. Pull out the Clicos, put the screws in. At that point, I'm done. Then I'll just go ahead and do all my cleanup. I'll clean up on the outside. I'll clean up all the RT or the uh, fuel tank sealant from the outside. Then I'll take this whole assembly, flip it upside down, clean all the excess fuel tank sealant out from the inside. And then at that point, I'm going to take the whole assembly, fit it onto the airplane, and then just let it sit and let it cure while it sits. That's the plan. We know how plans turn out at times, so let's just see how this goes. But that's kind of my thought process at the moment. And uh, we'll, we'll just see how it goes. I may, I'm considering maybe setting up a time lapse just so you can kind of watch as all this unfolds. But uh, like I said, we'll see. So the first thing I'm going to do is take care of the protective wrap on the canopy. I'm going to scuff up these side skins and then I'm going to start mixing up fuel tank sealant. So I will either see or actually you will see me here shortly in a time lapse or uh, eventually I'll come back and I'll do some real time uh, videotaping and explain how it all went. So either way, I will see or talk to you soon.